My intentions for today were pretty clear. Wake up, get dressed, feed the dog, and relax until I needed to start recording for my next review or gameplay video. Pretty straightforward day, or at least it was supposed to be. That got changed up real fast after Novrich decided to send me a package. Or two packages. I don't even need to look at the labels to tell that they're from him. Probably has to do with all the tape on both of them. With a bunch of people talking about the Novrich conference and all the new stuff he showed off, you should expect to see a couple dozen videos from all the people you'd think would get Novrich's new rifle. I just hope that I can make a good review out of a bolt action rifle because I've never really cared to review one in the first place. Now I'm pretty sure I know what's inside this heavier box, but the other one is a total mystery. Either way, whatever's in here is being given away, so let me just get into it. In the first box that weighs less than three pounds, it feels like, there's parts inside. That and a lot of styrofoam. Novrich did this the last time I took a look at something from him. I was just expecting the SSX-23 back then, but then I got all the accessories to go with it. And I can appreciate that. But this time, we get an M220 spring. Interesting. That should jump up the FPS and jewel readings way up there, but we'll see. And then we get a black tip to replace what should be an orange tip on the rifle in the other box. Then it looks like we have a stock in here. Unwrapping it a bit, another package fell out. This one is filled with trigger guard parts. They look traditional VSR-10, so that's really interesting. These are probably the parts to convert the rifle that we have in the other box back and forth between their A1 and A2 configurations. This stock bears a thick rubberized butt pad engraved with Novrich's insignia. This M700 style stock feels really smooth and rubberized. I also really appreciate the 555 count bottle of 0.46 gram biodegradable sniper BBs. These will be useful when trying to show off the rifle's max range and consistency in the full review. Next is the second box, and it feels much heavier. Ripping this thing open, I can show you... Oh, well I guess UPS strikes again. That's a pretty big shame that this case is already cracked, but hopefully nothing is damaged inside. Now this, this is the Novrich SSG 10A2. The new affordable SSG as stated by Novrich himself. And it's going to be really hard to say SSG over and over again without screwing it up. This is supposed to be the rifle that claims all the accolades, and after watching Novrich's video about this rifle, I can say that he did a lot to make sure that's true. Even though this is a simple rifle in the terms of how it's powered and what actually moves on it, the review won't be a sub 10 minute piece of work. In that review, I'll talk about this nylon fiber reinforced stock from Maple Leaf that resembles an M40 stock with all its adjustable features that even has M-lock slots under these rubber covers. Then we'll look at how air seal is so great and how the rifle even pops when you charge the rifle, plug the barrel with your finger, and pull the trigger. We'll look at how the trigger travel works and how clean or how dirty the internals look. Can it be equipped with an air brake or take HPA mods? And in that review, I want to weigh parts. I want to weigh the stocks, the barrel assembly, the magazine when it's empty and loaded. I want to take it all apart. I want to use several different weights of BBs at several distances. I want to put it in someone else's hands to see what they think about it and film their honest opinions. I also want to compare it to an SSG-24. I just really want to put together a full length, proper review for this rifle. And I also want to give this whole package away starting now. These rifles just came out and people are ordering them up quickly, but you can secure your own by entering in to win this whole case, including the A1 conversion parts, so you can turn the SSG-10A2 into an A1 or mix match parts if you want to. I want to keep this giveaway simple so anyone in the United States can enter. Simply be subscribed to the US Airsoft channel, like this video, and comment down below, I want the SSG-10. That's all you need to do, just be sure to remember this date because that's when I draw for a winner. And if you win, I'll message you back, love your comment, and pin your comment to the very top so everyone will know who won the giveaway. But if you don't respond in a week, then I'll have to draw for another winner, so seriously, remember this date and time. This giveaway will be limited to US viewers sadly, and I do apologize for that. Hopefully I can figure out a way to gift the fans from the UK or in Asia or in Canada, South America, and everywhere else one day. You can also get more information about this giveaway or future giveaways and videos on the US Airsoft Instagram page, so go follow me there if you haven't already. This new rifle comes with a lot of hype behind it, 
like any other Novridge branded product would, but I do give them credit where it's due. The SSG-10 does come with a 25 year free spare parts agreement, meaning if something breaks with the SSG-10, you'll get it replaced for free as long as you pay for shipping costs. And a 25 year agreement is something that no one else is trying, and I'm sure that it's something that Novrich is pretty happy with doing. But after what you saw here, and maybe what you've already heard, do you think that this rifle is worth $500? Or do you think the A1 model is more reasonable at $300? Honestly, I think it's very fair for a pre-upgraded VSR-10 compatible rifle, but what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to get entered in now so I can ship this case straight to you. Just excuse the stupid crack on it. Maybe I can get this case replaced before the giveaway ends. You guys have one month, so get as many of your friends entered and enjoy the rest of your day or night. And maybe next time you'll see this rifle with an actual scope on it. I'm sorry, I just don't have any need for them, so I never bought one. I think I only like uh, maybe three different bolt action rifles, and that's probably because of Call of Duty. Except for the Car 98, I really like that. I like the DSR-1 and the Remington MSR after that. But be sure to check out the description for links to get your own Novrich SSD 10 a one or A2, or for more information about it. But until that next video drops from the city of San Antonio, this has been Scott Hollenbeck, and I will be sure to see you all next time. Hey, did you ever feed your dog? Yeah, I'm gonna give her water and everything before I left. Cool, so we're done. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna grab some Margies or something after this? I'm kinda hungry. Yeah, man, I'm down. I just gotta record some guitar real quick, man. For sure.